all of the Dungeon Warfare 2. All right, what was I doing last time? Brawl looked like a pain. Fountain looked good. Pressure looks good. Pressure looks really good. I'm trying to remember what those green things are. Green things are something. That's very useful. Let's go to Fountain. Check it out. Okay, so now I have one, two, three triangles unidentified. If I transmute them, we get a unique rune that only gives 6% XP bonus. Ah. Oh. Breeze. Ooh, what? Okay, so Breeze is pretty amazing. 100 additional life. I wonder if these two work with each other. I think this map was don't lose any lives. Back to the menu. Yeah. So we'll take that one. Other than that, I might just identify a bunch of these. I think I'm just playing without many modifiers, though. That's what I've been doing. It's been working. We can put a rust in there. Um, I don't mind a few of these. Can I organize these? I totally can. I totally should. The rust should go right. Can't when it's in there. Yeah. Rust should go right there. Okay, I was wrong. I cannot organize these. Swarm is rough. I like Swarm. But it's probably, like, a pretty big negative for only 5% bonus. That one I think I could do. There we go. That's what I'm going with. That might be too much already. These are treasure chests. Hmm. Looking at what we got going. There's not a good spot for pushers. Except for right here. I'm going to lose two of these chests. It's just gonna happen. This chest I could save by walling, but that's a lot to spend. But I kind of need to wall anyways. Just do I want to spend an extra box to keep this chest alive? I think I do. I shouldn't have locked in yet. That's okay. I think these are the towers that I want. The only questionable one really is Harpoon. Um, Frost is a little bit questionable. Okay, I can't see. I kind of want this to be fire up front. Fire is just so strong. This will be my demon lord. The longer I can keep them from reaching this, the better. like a spin blade right here, I think. I'm trying to think if I make this into one that I can put things on top of. I 
think that makes sense to me. But then I wouldn't do the spin blade. And do I send these first waves? The only thing scary there is that Black Knight's a little bit scary, but fire should take care of that. Should slow them down if I'm not doing the spin blade. These balloons of evilness could be a problem. I don't think they will. We'll do this. Big explosion. This one, I want to slow them more. 40 seconds, a long time. Ooh, if I only had one of these, it would be firing way quicker. That is interesting to me. Can't place anything on the ground right here. Is that a ranged unit? I think it is. Free arm speed burn duration pushes units back, I like. building a bunch of boxes that give me money. I do think that makes sense to me. Okay. They are attacking a bit. Put regen on those. Control right click. Control left click. Putting down barricades, generate all the gold. We've only got we have 37 waves. That's a big number of waves, actually. Juicy kill streak. Only 35. So that's okay, because we're generating gold. In there, actually. Go with a super harpoon. Twin head. Keep things from just running past. Okay. We kind of fail. Those were really fast. I think this one helps. Those can just zoom right by me. Yeah, 
am getting attacked a little. Fun activation. Deal lightning damage. Okay, those are regening pretty quick though. I do want this to have the flywheel. Do bleeding damage. There's no good spot for an axe, I'm noticing. I don't really need those points in the axe. Hex trap would be pretty good. Still don't have a trap right here yet. I do bounty hunter. Hundred percent. Copying the barricades. So how much of the earliest barricades are in? Not enough to pay for themselves yet, but they're getting there. Super speed. Don't seem to be getting through at all. Okay. Getting a good amount of gold. Once we get closer to that wave 37, I have to save for a little bit. I think I'll start doing that right now. I will give these more help. Cool. The only other thing would be I still do think I should get this frog in there. How is this one doing? This one has 75 kills. Very nice. 76 kills with 72 activations. So it's getting a good number of kills. Increased damage. Rearm speed is really good. Rearm speed. So right now, I just want to get to 15,000, which we're very close to. We're like past it. Or we're going to be past it. a second spin blade or a second frog trap. But why? Having one of them makes them so good. This is the last way. They're dropping lots of items. We're getting lots of score. Hopefully. Multiplier could have been higher, but that's not bad. And we get to go into Endless. Ooh, we got a unique.
They're getting expensive. At some point, I don't really think they're worth it anymore. Probably past that point. A while ago. But if anything else or if anything does get here, these will be targets. Okay, it's a wooden of emboldening. This is maximum health. It's so weird that I can't attack these. I mean, there are towers specifically to do that. That seems weird. Made a mistake. Didn't mean to put one there. I'm probably going to lose this treasure chest for that. We'll see. Maybe not. Oh no, I can just blow them up. Perfect. Okay, that was a my bad. And more power. Stupid amounts of gold for no reason. This one can get gold. It'll be a distraction one. More gold. More gold. getting by. Um. We want that to spin that way. Blunt force. Increased damage. Spring compressor. Do it. Big swings. This is my only frost one, I think. Physically push units back. Could get two of them and put this on there. We'll just slow them more. Damage taken, shatter. Units killed while frozen explode, dealing 20% of maximum health is damage in a small radius. That is interesting. Hey, I was gonna say, you have to actually attack. You're a singularity, you should be attacking quickly. It did blow up that. That was expected. They're gonna fight these a little bit. Bottom of shielding is very annoying. Could put 10,000 into something. Super trap limit has been increased. Where are they all getting stuck? They're getting stuck right in front of the spin blades, so let's give this corrosive slime. Oh, this could actually be a trap foundation. Sell this one. 
put the axe here. Now that's a good axe spot. Physical force. We're going to chill them with lust. Whirlwind is still really good. Smash that enemy. Well, prepare. But now I kind of want to change this one up. Let's sell it. Because they can get chilled from others, from this. Physically push them back. Deep freeze. Shatter. Sounds pretty good to me. This axe should be going very quickly. The only thing would be if I was doing this better. I really should move this spin blade like right here. Or right here. Right here is pretty good because then I could move my frog. We're going to sell that one. Sell that one. Knock units back. I think I will go with the knock units back. I'm going to do the flywheel. And we're going to do bleeding edge. That there. Copy that. Can I not fit a hex? I can. Perfect. I can't build on this barricade. I wish I could. Then... No, this is fine. I could have put this right here. But I think this works well. I could move this harpoon to be right here. Kind of like that. And then I could put some demons down. Probably some more demons. This feels extremely strong. That's a lot of demons. The only thing that should probably be changed is this slime trap should probably go like right here. I guess I have multiple of them. Okay, that one's got the full upgrade. Sweet. I could also put something here. What would I put there? Probably fire, but it could be frost. Oh, I can't do fire there. Could do a spin blade. Pop up knockback. No, because I don't want two of those. This time, we're going to get to 100,000 gold. Okay, the only worry is that they actually blow through these walls. I'm going to copy that and Put it right there. I spent way too much blowing through the enemies to put that down. The whole reason to put that down is to protect this one and this one a bit. 
because this one becomes the one that they attack first. I could have something here. I can't really, because I don't want two of any of these. Yeah, the exploders are messing with me. a few of these but even if they do get through that's not the path they're gonna take I could have put gold ones with regen I have enough gold that battering ram exploded in here really just want to watch this area. If they had flying units that could go right over this water, I could be in trouble. Those gyrocopters? Gyrocopters? Right. This area is way too strong. This spin trap has flywheel on it. This has a whole bunch of demons. It has 100,000 gold. Barricade has been destroyed. Okay. I might lose here. I only have two lives. Hey, we lose. That's fine. Seven million. Let's go. Good deal. Four level ups. 246 gems. 200 more starting gold. And get consumable mastery, which is my favorite. Starting gold. I figure eventually I will get all of the unique items that I want, because you can only fit nine into your cube anyways. It'll take a while to get there, but eventually. Gold also becomes kind of a non-issue eventually, though. Okay. You're not identified. Stun and slow effects are both good. Axe trap. I do like that axe trap. Bolt trap, I don't use at all. Increased trap physical force, 37%. That's as good as these two put together. That one's really good. Like, good enough that I should be considering getting rid of some of these. Low effects are nice. Burning damage is nice. Burning duration is nice. Decreased cost. Um, barricade decreased cost. This one's okay, but not like super good. Ooh, tier six, ethereal map. Let's go. Two additional minecart tracks. No, I. Okay, cool. Uncommon map. We have lots of maps. Tier nine. Inhabited by jungle warriors, it contains a vault. That was one thing Falterfire mentioned, is I should check out what the vaults do in ethereal maps. I would like to do, for sure. But I also want to play the ethereal maps with difficulty modifiers since I only get to play them once. I'm guessing there's like unlimited ethereals though. Demon Haven. Okay, what else do we got? Rare oil. That's a lot of burning duration. This one doesn't do a whole lot. More trap, physical force, black hole, spin blade, trap damage. All traps, increased rearm speed by 12%. That's so good. Yeah, 
want that for the burning. The portal guardians become less important if I'm killing things before they get to them. Deal lock. Barricade gets six additional durability per kill. On barricade deployment. I was going to say, how do they get kills? Plus six to mastery level. 7% decreased cost. That's such a good barricade item. But barricade's kind of crappy, even though I place tons of them. All of these physical force ones are really tempting. These are tier 7s. This is also a tier 7. Um... Decreased cost. Plus 6 mastery level. I don't think I need that just because I have so many rupees to spend. Um... And I want to put so many of them into fire. The axe is really good. The demons are just... Oops. How do you not put them into the demons? What does this one do? Damage. I want it to be duration down. Okay. Skills. Five skill points. All the skill points. There's no max to this. Um, I do I use projectiles a little bit? Not really. What is Pierce again? Projectiles. Five more skill points, so I could get all the way to Pierce. Hmm. Kill chain. I do like kill chain. And loophole is definitely worth one point. This one would be good. 13 points away. Engineering. Don't care too much. Okay. I would like to get to fire. That's pretty far away. Still kind of want this. For two points, 1% chance to stun on lightning. I think it's just more experience at this point. Oh. All right. Another map down. Invisible paths. That one just sounds interesting. For now, I think that does it for this one. Next time, maybe we'll go try and open this vault. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.